Hey guys, what is up everyone? Today I will make a quick video on how to create a cron job on Linux. I will also explain to you how the date and time format works for uh, creation of a cron job. Uh, we will go through a little exercise for that and we specifically do this video now because the next video will be a video about CertBot which is a certificate management tool that allows you to automatically renew SSL certificates for your web server and it would be a good advantage for you if you already know how cronjob works before starting with this next certbot tutorial so let's quickly run through the steps on what you need to do to create a cronjob and i will talk you through how it works with the date and time formatting all right so i assume you are connected to your uh, linux machine or ubuntu a machine for this test so we are first going to create the first cron job on this machine so you would simply type sudo crontab dash e and the first time you started it will ask you which editor you want to use i recommend you to use nano it's the easiest and more beginner friendly editor there and now we see our crontab file which is now of course completely empty because i didn't create anything yet you can read through this you can pause the video or read through your own file but uh, what you specifically do you go down with the down arrow through the uh, all the way to the bottom and then you see the formatting here so m h d o m m o n d o w and command so what the hell does that mean that's what i will try to explain to you right now so let's head over to our drawing board and we will just try to do the same in here so we have m excuse my shitty writing we have h we have d o m which is day of months we have months, or actually it's just M, I think. No, it's man, okay, that's right. And we have DOW, which is a day of a week. So let's try to make that a bit better. So let's pull that up again. So we have M H D O M M O N D O V, D O W, sorry, I'm German. We have we no w okay so uh, let's uh, do that like this let's change the color so this is minute uh, this is hour this one is day of months this is months and this is day of week all right Need a little bit more space up there now okay perfect so now you have values you can assign let's take another color again let's take this ugly fucking green color there and we have minutes 0 through 59 we have hours uh, 0 to 23 we have day of months 1 to 31 months of course 1 till 12 and we have day of week uh, 0 as uh, 0 indicates um, Sunday through 6 or 7 I'm not sure anymore I think 6 yeah 0 through 6 and there is also an occasion where you have 1 to 7 so 0 to 6 would be Sunday till Saturday and uh, I hope I don't butcher you know and um, 1 to 7 would be Monday to Sunday we will check that out later again so anyway this is uh, this is the basic pattern of how that works and of the numbers that you can work with all right so I quickly double check that and 
uh, 0 through 6 is Sunday till Saturday and 1 to 7 is Monday till Sunday. That's just used on some systems. So 0 through 6 is the default what you would use there. All right. So let's assume we want to run a cron job every every day of the week at 14:30 every day of the week every month and every day of the month so what we need to do we need to put the minutes which is in this case 30 right for the 30 minutes then we have the hour which would be of course 14 then we have day of the month which we want to have any day of the month, so we use our wildcard. Same goes for months, we want to have that run every month, wildcard again. Day of the week, we want to run it every day, so we make a wildcard again. So we have 30, 14, uh, what's it called, asterisk in English, asterisk, asterisk, and that means 14, 30 every day, of the week every day of the month and every month through all of the year uh, for exercise for yourself try to do the same thing uh, with let's say you want to run it at 22 15 Every, in fact, that's hard to write here. Every Wednesday, every month, every month, every week. So, twenty to fifteen, every week, every month, and. Yeah, every week and every month. Try that. I will put the solution to that in the description. So it's a simple, uh, small exercise for you. Okay, so let's get back to our Chrome tab file then. I hope you understood that. I, for me, that makes sense how how it's laid out now. So let's create the actual command. It's written here again, so you can see. I try to move it a little bit to the side, so you can still see the chart that we created. So let's assume we are going to run apt get update every day at 1430 like we made it here in the example. So what we would write would be 30, 14, asterisk, 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 sudo apt get update. That's it. That's the command that you need. That's all you need to put there. Always remember to put sudo in front of it. And you can double check it here. Minutes, hours, day of months, months, day of week command. So this is all that you need to do. Then you hit control O, hit enter to save, hit control X to leave. And that's it. That's your cron job. And uh, I hope that was easy to understand. Let me know. Uh, in the comments if anything is unclear i will put the solution to that in the comments too and one more thing if you don't want to bother with uh, actually learning all of that and you just want to have uh, one cron job uh, go to the site it's called cron tab dash generator.org and you can as you see very easily create a cron job here and you just put the numbers uh, that you want or that suit you best and you put the command that you want to execute there and it creates the command for you and you just uh, copy and paste it into your chrome tab file all right that's it there is also a uh, written article about this uh, on uh, the website you can go there i put the link there as well and yeah i hope you like that as always thumbs up and subscribe and stay tuned for the next one which will be how to install certbot See ya.